Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths and another fun video where I pit two giant ships against each other to see who wins. So on the last uh, stream VOD that got uploaded, someone suggested that I should pit uh, the newest addition to the Borderwise new canoe roster, uh, the Octagon Party Canoe, which seems to have a lot of names at the moment because I haven't actually decided on a final name for her. Anyway, I should, should uh, pit this uh, beast of a craft, over 1 million materials of reinforced wood and gun and not much else, uh, against uh, the old favorite of the Navy, the Style Slung Mark II. Uh, those of you who um, haven't been checking in might notice that the Style Slung uh, no longer has uh, triple barrel turrets. Uh, that is because uh, single shot doom crams are better in every way, and so that's what we're rolling with uh, from now on. So. Uh, no further ado, I realize that some people like to skip uh, the lengthy intro straight to the fight, so here you go. Let's fight. And these two ships are huge, by the way, uh, so uh, there's probably going to be lag. And immediately, like, I don't know which uh, one, of, one of these craft will win, because the Star Song uh, has got a material advantage. Uh, but... I don't think the lambs on the Octagon Party Canoe are going to... Nope. Also, uh, I think the Star Slung has more missiles. Let's see how the Star Slung's uh, doing. It's going to be best of three. Wow. Uh, this gun got disabled almost immediately by the looks of it. That is what... Oh boy. Wow, the Star Slung might actually lose this one. Because that is a monster gun uh, on the Party Canoe right there. It all depends on whether she... Yep, there's degraded mode. Yeah, and also, this is very thick armor, which is actually... Uh, exa oh, wait a minute, hello. Just got, uh... Just got some barrels trimmed right there. Also, the Star Slung turns like an idiot, so, um... We might uh, have some problems here. I really need to... This is the problem with having a long, thin girl. She doesn't turn very fast. We actually are managing to land some to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Torpedoes are actually closing in. What did that do? I didn't quite get through. That is why... Oh, yeah. A thick armor on uh, the party canoe. Very thick armor, as it turns out. Whoa, the octagon... Whoa, that took a... Oh, yeah, now the crams are getting right in there. This is the disadvantage of, uh... Of having a big monitor like this, is that, um... Once the main gun is damaged, uh, it's damaged. Thankfully, though, ejectors. Like, I feel like a real dum-dum for not getting around to ejectors, uh... Sooner. See? in There they are. They're in there. Uh, they are a real lifesaver, so... Absolutely use them. You have no excuse not to use them. They don't even make the Tetris that difficult. Wow, lost a lost a detection turret up there. Oh yeah, the Star Slung's got this. The Star Slung has got this in the bag. Especially since uh, signal processor uh, kinetic missiles. Yep, looks like uh, yep. She's got this. She's very much got this. I was. I don't know, I did expect this would be one way for it to go, because the Star Slung has much better armor, because, well, she's made of metal for the most part, and the party canoe is not. Also, uh, once uh, she gets her eye in with those cram cannons, uh, they are no joke. Do that literally just bounced. Problem is, is that cram cannons, as ever, uh, they can miss the broadside of a barn, even at point-blank range, so... That is an issue. Also, apologies for degraded mode, but these are two big girls, and um, time slows down when they have a fight. It's like, uh, yeah, it's it's just how it happens, really. Wow, flying torpedoes. Let's see, who's uh, burning through materials faster? Um, they both started with 50,000. It looks like the uh, Star Slung is actually burning through them a little bit quicker. Actually, like... Let's see, how many guns are actually intact in here? Pretty much all of them, really. 
by the looks of it. Oh, hello, that, that cram shell might have something to say about that. Uh, nope. Oh, this one might. I think that just took out an, an ammo compartment. Yeah, that did something. That very much did something. Let's have a look. Let's have a squiz. Okay, that has ruptured a lamb system. Uh, nope, the ammo compartment still appears to be intact. What got shrekt? Something got Tyrannosaurus shrekt in here. And this is one of the advantages of having so much empty space. Oh, that's what happened. Uh, this gun is having a bad day. Thank, praise, uh, RNGs uh, for ejectors. They really do make such a difference. I think the Star Slung's actually recovered some. Let's let's see how our big girl over here is doing. Thankfully, this fight um, is proceeding quite quickly. Okay, so I should mention as well, I forgot to mention this because I'm forgetful, is that um, round one, uh, they're starting head to head. Round two, they're both going to be at 90 degrees to each other. And then round three, I think, well, round three, I don't know, I think uh, the Octagon will start facing forward and the Star Slung will f uh, start facing 90 degrees because that that's uh, the most favorable position uh, for each of them respectively. Because the Octogun doesn't care. She can fire straight forwards all the rounds. She lost her tail! I'm trying to remember if that, um... If she only has munition warners, um, on her tail. I literally finished building her just the other day and I've already forgotten. It's like studying for a test. Uh, the information just flies out of your head, uh, once, you, once the test is over. The test here being... Don't recall. Nope, uh, lambs are still working, so... I should mention, like, uh, the party canoe has uh, four separate lamb systems, so if one gets damaged, uh, the other three are fine. Uh, but yeah, don't know who has the stronger lambs. I'm tempted to say uh, the canoe does, but you never know. You never know. It looks... Yep, the Star Slime's lost some health again, so this is where the fight could drag on a little bit. I should mention as well that um, there is a ten-minute time limit. Uh, standard fight setup I have. Oh, that's a good cram shell. It's landed right in there. It's done stuff, it has. This might come down to who runs out of money first. There's another cram shell. Once the traces can turn off, you really do see. What the hell was that? Oh, hello. Yeah, degraded mode was off, so I kind of forgot about um, the APS cannon on the Star Slung. I should really retrofit her to use ejectors, because as I've mentioned, I'm now in love with ejectors. Can't get enough of them, they're fantastic. It's very quickly looking as if um, the canoe is going to run out of money first. Not sure when that's going to happen, but uh, let's see. Okay, I can't count. They start with 500,000 materials, my goodness. Oh, there's the APS shells. So yeah, disadvantage of reinforced wood, it's not metal. That is the main disadvantage. I could slow down time a little bit uh, to make this go a bit faster, but I don't feel like it. Major downside for the Star Slung is that she turns not very fast. I should stick turning props on her. Also, I forgot about her large interceptors. That's, uh, that's something I completely forgot. Thank goodness for eight meters of... Um, actually, how... I think, it, I think it is actually eight meters of metal she's got as armor. So it's like one... Oh yeah, that uh, layer of heavy armor. Oh yeah, it is eight meters in total. My goodness. Or is it six? 
It's a... Uh... Oh no, it's a sandwich. I haven't actually looked at the style song in a while. I forgot how she... I, well, personally, I think she's beautiful. And terrifying. She's three tank turrets on a long skinny hull. Now she's finally managed to turn her big ass around and get within cram range. Oh yes. Oh yes. We. Okay, I will be posting uh, workshop links to these two craft uh, in the description as well. And if I forget, please annoy. Oh my goodness, that was a very good shot. What did that do? Uh, yeah, the main gun's down. Yeah, uh, Party Canoe ain't winning. Ain't winning this one. Yeah, that's it. All her, all her barrels are gone. Now it's all over by the screaming. We are definitely not going to get a sinking despawn though, because uh, because reinforced wood floats. And guess what? She's made of. She's made of reinforced wood. Also, wow, she's. She might have stuck too many repair bots on her because uh, she's uh, just. A minute or two away from running out of materials. I should mention as well, for those of uh, you wondering, uh, who haven't been following the streams, I am doing a playthrough of Nita on lower-ish difficulty, um, where I'm basically just using wooden craft, or in this case, reinforced wooden craft, simply because I like building with wood, and there's a canoe theme, as you might have guessed. And so I would not consider this a very serious uh, build. This is not a particularly meta craft in many ways. In some ways it is, in other ways it's not. That looked like a crunchy, crunchy cram shell. Also, this thing is kind of... Um, I'd say this kind of craft is exactly the kind that's vulnerable uh, to cram cannons. Because uh, it's big, it's reasonably slow, it's quite wide. Um, so yeah, anything that's arcing down on it... Uh, makes a bit of a mess of it, as you can see. Wow. Still a great, uh, weirdly cost-effective way to get eight 500mm guns um, into a reasonably, well, short-ish hull, I guess. Yeah, that's, uh... This is, uh... This, this is seal bubbing at this point. She's still dodging gram cannons, and she's still not dead. I think, yeah, the torpedo, uh, the torpedo base got taken out a long time ago. Oof, that is block confetti. That is delicious block confetti. Mom's spaghetti. Palms are sweaty. Palms are heavy. Does anybody know, like, well, presumably somebody knows, but how many people know the full lyrics to um, that song, which I've just forgotten the name of? Damn, poor party canoe. This is this is this party's not going very well for you, is it? No. So sad. How's the style slung doing? Actually, wait. Let's see how if these crams actually hit anything. We kind of. How about this one? Nope. Wow, the Star Song is way more material efficient than this thing. Which I guess makes sense because this thing has eight giant giant as APS guns. And um, the Star Song does not. Crams are way more ammo efficient. Or I should say material efficient than APS. It is one of their very few advantages, and that's immediately uh, cancelled out by the fact that, as you can see, uh, they tend to miss a lot. Uh, missiles might have the word miss in it, but crams have the word... Uh, they have the word aim in it if you leave out the I and uh, are sarcastic. Like, aim? Puh. That joke was so much of a stretch that my arms hurt. Anyway, uh, yep, uh, this is absolute carnage, and uh, the uh, the canoe is uh, not uh, not having a very good day. Let's see, you are only a few percent away from. Oh, dearie, dearie me, that's wow, that's a whole chunk that got ripped off. I should mention as well that these little APS shells that the uh, Star Slung is firing, uh, they're a form of generalizer. So that is a 
Hesh Warhead, uh, secondary shape charge, no backing, and then a flak and frag timed few. So uh, these things, uh, they are mainly for anti-air, but they do hurt uh, if they hit something directly, which they tend to do a lot because they've got a pretty decent velocity. So yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons I like the Generalizer, is because it is general purpose. It's not the most efficient anti-air shell, it's not the most efficient armor buster, but it can do both. And so right there, we've got the Octo Canoe. She has been defeated. And let's look at the way she despawns, because that's always fun. Despawning front first, uh, because I think that's the bit I built first. Yeah, there she goes, and then the booty vanishes. The booty disappears last, and my goodness, she's got a nice booty. So anyway, that's uh, basically, that's round one. So now we're going to spawn in uh, them facing each other with the star song in an in a even more advantageous position. So let's do that. Um... Yeah, I think it is a much more advantageous position for the Star Slung because um, uh, Octagon Party Canoe can point 100% of firepower in all directions, so uh, not a biggie for her. Uh, Star Slung needs to be at a 90 degree angle, and away we go again. So it's not best of three, I should mention. We are going to see these things fight each other three times. I don't think this is gonna go much better, although you never know. Where are you? Also the fact that uh, this lady spawns out of the water is a little weird. So this time, let's see what happens uh, to the Star Slung first, so... There they have those big shells and they're immediately going off and doing stuff. And they're getting through because they're big and very fast. Yeah, immediately that's a... Uh, let's see, what did that do? Did that penetrate? Nope, there is a wall of heavy armor there. The semi-penetrators are that... Um, they are getting in there, but here's a nice... Uh, ooh, I forgot that the... Uh, oh boy! I really need to get rid of the ring shields on the Star Slug. They are... Kind of useless, to be perfectly honest with you. Jeez. Oh wow. Oh wow, that, that was a big hit on the... What happened over there? Was that the ammo compartment that just went up? Must have been. Yep, I'm guessing it was. What happened in here? Nope, let's go see here. That's such a huge turret, it's a journey. What? Where'd it happen? Where'd it go? What happened? Oh no, it lost a turret. Wow, this this is gonna be... It's shaping up to be another ass-whooping, ladies and gentlemen. Very thick deck armor. Nice deck. Alright, here's the ammo compartment. No, it's fine. That was a lot of health that just fell off. My goodness. Ah, uh, they're both, um... Alright, so the Octogun is actually not in its ideal broadside. It's, uh... She's rigged to show her right side to the enemy, so she's turning around. Which isn't the worst idea, to be perfectly honest, because, um... It's spreading out the damage on both sides of the hull, and also means that the crams are missing even worse than usual. So, not too bad an idea. That is big brain move uh, by the, the Octagon. Which sounds like Octagon, now that I think about it. But, uh, and also, yeah, she's moving away. That's her advantage. Range is her advantage, except for the fact that the Star Slung has uh, a rather hefty missile burn. Honestly, a lot of my ships, even if they're armed with crams or APS or something like that, really, uh, they're missile cruisers in, dis in disguise, let's be honest. And right there, yep, so uh, that right there is probably the reason for the block confetti earlier, is those are... Uh, those are radar-guided uh, kinetic missiles, so they're there uh, mostly to dis uh, to, to soak up um, anti-munition fire so the crams can get in, 
But to be perfectly honest with you, they end up doing most of the damage. And the crams are there mostly uh, for emotional support, decoration, and uh, style points. Like this big fat shell, where is that gonna go? Oh, I wonder where this is going. What is that? Yep, it missed horribly because, you know, that's what cram shells do. Man, guided cram shells would be so nice. And before anyone talks about the fact that crams do get a little bit of guidance uh, when they are descending on the target at a very high angle, I know. And I don't care. I mean more guidance than that. Also, it'll be very interesting to see... Let's see here. Are these torpedoes actually gonna go anywhere? Uh, I don't think so, because uh, the Star Slung has a lot of torpedo into... This is probably why it's lagging, because there's a whole subterranean war uh, down here. Um, with uh, all the torpedo interceptors going away, because the Octogun, I should mention, has a lot of these. Like, too many. So, all these are torpedo interceptors, and it's got... Uh, one, two uh, torpedo interceptor turrets, or shark poppers, as I like to call them. Uh, so, yeah, she's, uh, she's uh, not easy to kill purely with torps. Although she is easier to kill with APS. Like, APS is a bit of a weakness, let's be honest. Also, I didn't test her against doom crams, I sh should admit. Which was silly. I guess this is the doom cram test. I'm gonna see the doomsday. Yep, and there goes all the detection. So yeah, this was uh, even more of an ass whooping than before. We. I mean, I could call it right here. It's quite obvious uh, seeing uh, witchcraft uh, is all overall better. Which, to be honest, like this is a more recent design. Like I built this like literally just last week that's when i finished this and the star slung it's been a while for her but uh i put a lot of love into that big battleship you see over there and it shows like when you actually put effort into a craft it does tend to be better shocking i know and this was just like ah bugger it we need a big thing so i made a big thing and then i show my big thing off to the internet praise my big thing actually don't Praise it if you think it is praiseworthy. Do not give pra do not give false praise to my big thing. That is not that I don't want that. Genuine praise only. <laughs> I don't want my big thing to get an ego. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop now because I'm annoying myself with that joke. Alright. Oh hello, there's a cramp. Oh my goodness. Also, fun fact, uh, truss blocks are great free HP that still count as air gaps, so I tend to do that. I could probably fit something much more useful in the in the cheeks, so to speak, uh, of that turret, but I had a failure of imagination when building that, so uh, it's not what happened. Yeah, the Star Slung's doing even better this time around. Oh my goodness. Please don't crash. Oh, nope, we didn't crash. We Yeah, it is the missiles that are taking it. I think the munition warners... Yeah. Yep, all munition warners are down. All munition warners are down indeed. Let's just go check on the star slung. Is she even scratched? She's down 4% health. And, uh... Yep, this turret has seen better days. This turret has seen better days. Uh, we've lost a turret there, lost another laser turret. This turret's fine. Uh, this one has also taken a few hits uh, to the face. And, uh, yeah, 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 but, uh, yeah, some penetrators definitely got right in there. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, so more uh, spare HP in there. Let's see what's happening over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other side is actually uh, looking a little, a little bit worse, because that took the brunt of it uh, back in the day. Back in the day, when this fight first started. Um, so yeah, but now, nah, apart from that, she's functional. I do want to pat myself on the back, and I'm literally doing that right now. Uh, for just how obscenely tough uh, these turret caps are. Uh, this was like eight... Uh, eight meter long, 500 millimeter shells of various uh, types. Uh... I think at least half of them being uh, dedicated armor breakers, 
and they didn't actually manage to destroy this turret. Uh, or this one. Or this one. Although, they got kind of close. So yeah, I'm proud of those turrets. They look good, and they function really well. I'm also proud of this turret, but um, slightly less so. This was more an improvised turret. Although the fact that this turret is still landing shots reasonably close, even with both detection uh, turrets on top, they're missing. Uh, that's impressive. That's wireless snoopers for you. They're actually really good. Oh, boy. And I think, yeah, the Star Slung's still not managing to land torpedo hits on there, so... It's not necessarily that this kind of ship is bad, it's just that um, it's made of weaker materials, uh, it's a lot more of an all-or-nothing ship, and the active defenses aren't quite as good. If I stuck Railgun Seawiz on this and uh, told it to prioritize missiles, uh, this thing would be doing a lot better. And I am tempted to do that. Uh, I, just gotta, I just gotta take a break from working on this thing, though, because I have got... Yeah, like, the full making of this big girl is, um... Yeah, I've recorded all of it, and will be uploading it as a Let's Build, so look forward to that. Uh, because you get to see this thing being made piece by piece, and then after all that, it gets its ass kicked by an older design of mine. I used to be salty about that kind of thing, but now I'm just like, oh yay! Like, old design. Still pretty good. Oh, the missiles, the missiles, they come in and they, uh, they've really hurt. Oh, that is a lot of thump damage. That one missed. This one has put the miss back into missile. And thus balance is restored. Great redundant block counts there. This thing's still fighting, even missing like 40%. Like, the front half of this thing might as well not exist. And it's still steering as well. Like, both Azipods are still, um... Are still functional. That's impressive. I guess that's, uh, the benefit of putting two redundant things at opposite ends of a craft. That was a tasty, tasty missile barrage. Grr, you're gonna have some stuff fall off and... Okay, yep, that was a good cram shell. Uh, right in the painful part. Nothing else, this is a... Uh, I don't know, the armor design is a... Is, let's face it, it's not really made to stand up to this kind of punishment. Because this is the kind of punishment meant to take out a tier, uh, which is basically made out of metal and heavy armor. Uh, four meters of reinforced wood? Yeah, it takes a while. It takes a while to... Uh, yep, and there she goes. Uh, round two went about the same with... Is that AI dead? Nope, just, uh... She's too damaged. She's too damaged. Away she goes. She is disintegrating. Alrighty, let's go check on the Star Slung. Uh, I don't think she's taken any more damage than she did before. Yeah, just bumps, scratches, occasional missing block here and there. I think maybe on the uh, Octagon I should uh, get her to... Oh my goodness, she's actually sinking. Um, I should actually get her to, like, focus fire, uh, on a single block a lot longer. Uh, cause that's what penetrators are really good at. And, like, half of them are semi-penetrators, to be fair. There's no penetration depth fuse on them. Cause it kind of doesn't need them, uh, when it's firing at something that has armor that thick. So, yeah, that's, uh, round two went about the same as round one. Alright, one last round for the road. And, uh... Alright, so you're going to be 0 degrees spawn angle, and you're going to be 90 degrees, and let us have another go. Because honestly, I could watch... I love canoes, and I love watching this, them disintegrate as well, so... That's, uh... My, my love for canoes is all-encompassing. I should make... I should make a romantic-themed canoe. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. That's something I could make for Valentine's Day, but I don't celebrate Valentine's Day because there is no real Saint Valentine. Also, it might as well be called Make Single People Feel Like Crap Day, and I'm not having that. I'm a single Pringle, and I'm proud not to mingle. 
That being said, ladies, I am available. Contact me from across the Pacific Ocean. Actually, don't. Wow, this is the point in the video where um, we've already established that one of these ships is a lot more formidable than the other. And, uh... Yeah, like, the, what else is there to say except random stuff that pops into my head? How is the Star Slung doing now? There is serious block confetti happening. Like, if I swapped the crams out on the Star Slung for APS guns, I guarantee you should be way more effective, because that's just... Whoops, that's just how the game is, uh... That's how the game is. Unfortunately. Lots of hun. You heard of the Huns? The Romans have heard of the Huns. Oh, they tried to bribe them to go away, and that didn't work. Well, now they're... Hopefully these two don't crash into each other and uh, cause my game to crash, because I would hate that. I would absolutely hate that. Yes, I would hate it. Maybe I should actually stick rudder. Actually, did I stick rudders on the Star Slung? Oh, I did. Oh, I should stick more of them. So she actually turns well. Yeah, the the those that the guns on the Octogun, uh, they laugh at heavy, heavy barrels. Apparently, they just flatten them. Oh my goodness, though. The turret's been disabled. Must have gotten an EMP hit. Uh, or... Let's see, let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at you. Oh my goodness, this is a nightmare. Yep, that is where the local weapon controller used to be. It must have taken some EMP uh, right to the underside. Well, that's it, she's lost. <laughs> she's lost. I might as well speed up the rest of this video, because, uh, Star Slung reigns supreme once again. Thank goodness. Can you imagine if a, uh, craft you've just made, uh, for, for the giggles, so to speak, ends up beating something you seriously invested time and effort into? That would actually be kind of annoying. Actually, this was really a win-win. Uh, newer craft, if it won, yay, I've gotten better. And, uh, old craft, if it won, I'd be like... Yay, my not-so-serious craft didn't win. Uh, if you two collide with each other now, I'm going to cry. I will legitimately cry big blue tears all over the place, and everyone will be embarrassed. Everyone on the internet will be very embarrassed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody has lost uh, control. Don't collide now. You're gonna collide now. I can tell. It is actually quite nice to have these two be right next to each other, though. Hang on, taking a screenshot. Ta da! No reason. Um, because you can see the size difference. It's just how long the Star Slung is and how broad the Octogun is. Yep, here comes the super lag. Because they're about to collide with each other. I would rather you didn't do that. So please don't. Please don't. Please don't collide with each other. Game is figuring things out. Slowing game right down. Slow motion. When you got two big ships that don't steer very well. And this is another reason why frontsiders are such a good ve uh, vehicle type to use. Because they don't generally have this problem. They move back and forth and side to side a little bit. And they don't have to worry about, you know, Tokyo drifting uh, into their target. I cannot move the camera. <laughs> well, I can. It's just there's so much lag uh, that uh, it's not a good idea. Oh boy. Okay, we're back. We're back and better than ever. But we're still in slow motion. And the and the Star Slung has decided, nope, I don't want you flinging any more interceptors, so... Uh, my party lasers are gonna deal with ya. 
I consistently forget just how shockingly useful lambs are. Okay then, alright, we can probably speed up time again. Okay, don't know how much. Okay, we're still lagging a lot and we're in degraded mode. Okay, no, we're not... Okay, we're no longer lagging, but we're still in degraded mode. Sometimes I do like to turn traces off because, I don't know, for funsies. Well, that bounced and it made a huge mess, though. See, I do like the way uh, Doomfrag uh, crams. They kind of poke holes in everything. It's like, it's making a Swiss cheese pattern right here. Lots of little holes, not so many. Yep, and there's one lamb's compartment that's getting messed with. Wow, actually, is this thing still firing? It is! Oh, she bless her cotton socks. She was fighting back this whole time. Not that this laser is going to do anything to the Star Sun, because it's designed just, you know, to swat small aircraft. But you know what? There's a lesson to be learned here, ladies and gentlemen. Never give up. Even if your main turret has been disabled and all you've got is a crappy little laser tail gun, never give up. Never give up indeed. And then your crappy little laser tail gun somehow does not get disabled by a doomfrag cram exploding right behind it. My goodness. The real hero this whole time was the secondary laser turret. Now I need to make a laser canoe and a particle cannon canoe. There's so many canoes I've got to make. People ask me, what do I, why do you like canoes so much? It's like, sometimes I don't, but there's so many I have to make. Anyway... Yeah, how's the torpedo war going? I don't think, uh... I really doubt that the Star Slung has managed to land a single torpedo uh, on our octagon over here. I don't... Nope, it, uh... Or nope. Is it? Nope, hasn't managed it. Oh, did you see that doom grab? It got right in there. It got right in there and made a mess. It's almost like a dissection at the moment. Emphasis on the die in dissection. Ever try to dissect something living? It's uh, not pretty. Also illegal. Don't do that. In fact, I think it. I think that's illegal. I think that would fall under the basis of either animal cruelty or murder. So, or both. Humans are animals. So if you're cruel to a human being, you are technically guilty of animal cruelty. So, you better not do it. That is my TED talk on um, ways to end bullying. Thank you for coming. It is astonishing though how uh, these counter turrets down here survive so long. Just because the torpedoes, like, you look at the underside of this thing, um, it's almost unmarked. <laughs> but then you look at the side above water facing the Star Song, and it's like, oh boy. And for those of you new to the channel, yes, I am aware uh, that Star Song in South Africa, uh, or in Dutch, I guess, that that is a dick joke. So, yeah, I'm aware of that. I didn't know that when I named that. I'm a sucky expat South African. Anyway. Star Slung, can you uh, do the mercy shot, please? Can you... Can you put the Octogun out of her misery? Because, frankly, she's fought hard. She's had a good day. Not, uh, I mean, a bad day. Why did I say good when I meant bad? What's next? This is a wonderful game, actually. To show such gorgeous damage. Let's see here. Are you even uh, scathed at all? Oh yeah, you've got a snubbed barrel over here. That is still firing. Very much still firing. Very much uh, making a glorious mess. The most glorious of messes, except when you miss. Thanks very much. Yep, that's the lamb's gone. Not that the lambs was doing much, all the munition warners fell off. For some reason, I'm not sure what would have done that. But can you imagine if I had not put ejectors on that turret? It would, like, this fight would have been over in the first minute. It's just one doom... One doom cram landing on top of the turret. 
That's it, dead. That's it, dead, goodbye, that's all she wrote. Maybe I could make a, a variant of this with a giant cram cannon. That would be pretty cool. Maybe I should do that. So see, there's another canoe to add to the list of canoes I should build. Let's have a look at the style song again, because she's really pretty, and my goodness, that is a lot of missiles. Also that, uh, fun fact, if you want your missiles to get through things like lambs and seawares and missile intercepts and stuff like that, uh, put different numbers of ejectors on them so they all fling and come in at uh, different angles and different heights, which means that, say, a swarm of missile interceptors would go for one of them, and then they'd miss all the others, so, yeah, handy trick, handy dandy super, oh yeah, this thing was firing missiles the whole time as well. I wonder if uh, any of them were getting through. Uh, no, because large interceptors... Man... I wanted this thing to spam large missiles too, but I ran out of ammunition. I mean, technically I've got room for it, but also technically, I got lazy and didn't want to put in another ammo compartment. Also, I foolishly thought this thing was getting too expensive. Foolishly, I say! Foolishly, 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 I fooled myself. You know what I should do? I should put huge missiles on this. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I mean, technically, my excuse here is that uh, this thing uh, has not had nearly as much work done on it as the style sign has. You've lost a lot of blocks, and while I'm pointing out the obvious, uh, this is a YouTube video you're watching. See how meta my humor gets? Anyway, that's it. That's goodbye, all she wrote. Once again, we're seeing a big canoe uh, disintegrate for some reason. So yeah, that's basically it for this uh, fun video where you see... Well, basically you watched a canoe get murdered three times for your entertainment, uh, you monster. Uh, you watched a steel snake uh, kill the party canoe. Which is almost random thought to have. Like uh, Egyptian mythology, Ra is riding the sun barge across uh, through the underworld every night. The serpent Apophis uh, comes to crash his uh, boat party and uh, needs to be beaten back. In this case, it's uh, like the, the big angry snake won. So, yeah, so the sun's gone out, people. Sorry! Uh, it's eternal night and the end of the world, as, the, as far as the ancient Egyptians are concerned. Actually, it's been the end of the world for them. Uh, for quite some time now, so I'm not actually teaching you anything new or special. So, on that bizarre note, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Where hopefully we can see more of this adorable giant doom snake thing. I love this thing, I really do. Farewell!